What's up? If you're new here, I'm Zach Lucars and this is my channel. And today is Monday, July 3rd, 2017. And it is a huge day. Today is the day I am going to buy my dream car. Copy the car. Good enough. Thank you, Bob. You love so much. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you for your hard work. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate it. I know it wasn't probably the easiest, but. Oh, that's okay. That's what we're here for. You're giving them a Thank step. you. You've done Thank you. Oh, no problem. Yeah, the registration has my name and everything. It's my car. I'm pretty sure he's going to do a dope transition, but. Very nice car. Yeah, stay. Today is just a crazy good day, not just because I hit 200 subscribers, but the day I've been waiting for. My wheels. Here it is. It's gonna look insane on this car. It's gonna look freaking sick. I cannot wait. Oh my god, this is gonna look so freaking good. Look at this. This looks literally insane. Like, this is probably the best thing. It's just. Like, if anyone is thinking about getting the 2010 GT500 style wheels from American Muscle for their S197, don't even hesitate. Just do it. It looks amazing. Today, actually, my baby right here, my 07 GT, is finally going to get tint. The factory tint is. It's not much. I, I don't even know if there's a factory. I don't even know there's a tint on there. But you can see, it does not look good. Um, here's kind of like a before view, so you guys can kind of get an idea. I ended up throwing 20s on the car, and it looks amazing, you guys. So I just got home with the car and let me show you guys the springs. They're on and look fantastic. Front wheel, virtually no wheel gap. Rear wheel's looking good. We are at the exhaust shop right now getting my Catalyst X-Pipe installed on my 07 Mustang GT. Just installed the CV2 chin spoiler. It looks incredible. Like it kind of makes the car look lower in the front end. I'm super hype on the CV2. Wow, I love it. This car is really coming together. Just put a channel sticker on my back windshield. Just for anyone to follow me if they want to follow the build or whatever, you know, channel sticker right here. I just got rid of my stock pedestal spoiler and put on the GT500 spoiler. And dude, it looks insane. I'm so hyped I did this. Also just put on Raxium Gen 5 taillights. And oh my God, it looks just like a 5.0, bro. Like check this out. When you unlock it, you do that. When you lock it, it like sequentials. They're sequentials. They got the whole like LED running lights and everything. Just like a 5.0. Wow. I am. This is awesome. I just murdered out all the lights on my car. I murdered out the front turn signal lights here and here. Murdered out the back marker lights here. And also murdered out the third brake light here.
made it to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching the transformation of my Mustang from day one to where it's at today. I just want to follow the build and keep up with what I'm doing on this Mustang and also my friend Subaru WRX that we're building right now. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss an upload. If you guys liked today's video, smash a huge thumbs up on this video. Comment down below what other mods I should do to this car if you guys want me to keep modding this and keep going. I need some ideas. I'm thinking more cosmetic opposed to motor just because I'm looking at getting a new car soon. So if you've been watching for a while and you're not subscribed or it's your first time here, I invite you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And that is going to end today's vlog, you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. I've been going ape shit. I don't call designer Audi pussy looking basic. Dressing like Nirvana, run my veins without the laces. No, if I don't like it, I don't smell up in your face, bitch. I'm on the same shit.